That'll be about the expose of witchcraft. Um, but anyhow. Okay. So. How'd you like everyone's performances? Absolutely, I was stellar. Everybody how, was stellar. How'd you like seeing Lysa Aaron in there? <laughs> From oh. Game of Thrones, the uh, we don't have the actress name, or I don't have her name in front of me right now. But yes, that was it was good seeing her there. She definitely works well in period pieces. Yes. Um, everybody put a tremendous performance. A very small cast of half a dozen yes. people or so. Um, a family, you know, exiles themselves or allows themselves to be excommunicated from the church or from the plantation where they're living, uh, the settlement. They've gone off in their... Uh, it was his pride. It was his pride See? to let him do that. And that, that was a nice tie-in there at the end. Yeah. I wasn't happy with exactly how they handled it, but <laughs> I appreciated him uh, going back to that and taking the blame for... For the situation the family found themselves in? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. I, I'm not sure who I could recommend this to, though. Um, okay. Some there was a jump scare in there for you at least. I know. Yes. Um. The dark black Philip again. Yeah. The the horror element um was I want to say predictable, very atmospheric. I don't know Whoa, how to describe the horror, it. Yeah, because I mean I couldn't wait for this thing to come out. I mean we were we when we got to the theater. Um, before those people came in, we were talking about the preview. The preview. Uh-huh. Yeah, and um, does this person think they're going to turn left from this lane? I think they do. Because they can't do that, and it's going to be pretty weird if they do that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, the preview made it look really... Intense uh, and... Disturbing, intense, yeah. like Fast pace. But it wasn't... It wasn't... It was more of a... I don't know. Like I said, other than saying it's atmospheric, I don't know what else to say. The music choices in this were very deliberate and intense. Yeah, because it was discordant. very quiet. It had a lot of very quiet moments. Yeah. And when the music did come on, it was jangling, jangling, jarring. Yeah. Um, I like that. I know it worked. It absolutely worked for, for all of these things. But you uh, you wouldn't pop this on and have friends over to watch it, I don't think. Um, probably not. Yeah. No, because it's not a popcorn movie. It's not a fun, you know. Lighthearted. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm sure glad that guy's finally turning. Will you get out of my lane? <laughs> guy's taking his half out of the middle. Yes. Um. Wait, what now? Oh. Yeah, I don't think it did very well. I mean, I'm I'm inspired now to go home and read some reviews because I haven't read anything. Yeah. I just knew that I was really looking forward to it coming out, and it came out, and then I didn't hear anything. Right. So it was like, ah, uh, that's not always a good thing. Yeah. And a couple people who we know who did see it, um, I think stupid was one of the words used. <laughs> um, you have Not to. scary um, and hard to understand. Yeah, I was going to say you have to have an appreciation of Old English. Yeah, you have to. I think you just have to really be in the mood, and you have to understand what you're going into. Yes. If you want a very a slow, and I mean it, but it builds the tension, you know. Because yeah. I mean, I was with them. I was like, "What is going on here?" I was with them. All those quiet moments where they're sneaking along, or and it's just quiet. Some people would maybe be looking at their watches or getting on their phones because they couldn't handle the slow pace, but you just, if you're in the mood for a movie like that, and you can watch it with no distractions, and you know, you could probably get into it. I would think so. A nice rainy night. Um, sure. Uh, spooky. And, but I'm sorry about the ending. Yeah. Like, this, if, this... if, if, I would, I don't know. I well, would have liked to expect, because I couldn't wait to see how they were going to wrap this thing up. Right. And it was like, oh dear, I'd rather them just cut it off when, when there was that it wasn't really a false ending but I was afraid it was there was ending. a fade to black there where yeah and I thought oh my gosh is it going to end like this because that's not good but you know what it could have ended there it would have it could have ended there, <laughs> ended yeah, there for back. me well it's one of these things that 
we're doing this a little while after it's been out of the theater and stuff. Well, I think Most people aren't going to see it in the theater, I don't think. I think it's only been out two weeks, right? Yeah, I picture it disappearing because yeah, there was maybe, no by the end of uh, the screening here, there was maybe six to eight people in the theater, including, yeah. the, including the two of us. See, and did you hear what some of those people said when it ended? I didn't. That was stupid. Yeah. Yeah, it, the ending is kind of dumb. So, unfortunately, it blows the whole move. I mean, that's what people are going to remember, the ending. Right. Um, my sister went and saw it, and she told me her husband thought it was stupid. The ending is going to make you... That's the last taste in your mouth is... Blah. That was stupid. <laughs> What's but, the last taste? Blah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, that's unfortunate, because I think it was good otherwise. Yeah. The, um, and the surprise, the, the, the surprise, the ending was not a surprise, but I think it was the way it did it. Was it too much? Maybe. A little too uh, over the top. We won't, we won't, yeah, we won't talk about it. We won't spoil it. But um, it was the ending I suspected, you know. Right. I saw it coming, but I didn't, yeah, the way they did it, I just, I think it was a little over the top. Yeah. I would have liked to have I wish we could seen... talk about it, but we can't. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen more leading up to that. Um, I right. mean, like you said, I think it was there. It wasn't a surprise. Um, my other thought about that is, though, in the home market, I would definitely want to see the making of. I would like to see the extras that come yeah. on the disc, provided that there's going to be a disc. But, yeah, I mean, right. I'd like to see the extras and what went into making this. This is a yeah. movie that I would enjoy, I think, almost as much the story about surrounding the movie as well as the movie. I like right. the movie a lot. I'm giving it a four. Um, oh, man, I thought this was Crenshaw. A very... Now we're going to have to get over again. A very specific recommend as to who should go see it. Yes. Um... Yeah. I don't know. I think that's what else? that's about it, I guess. Yeah. Um the I I was I was remembering um someone saying that they they couldn't totally enjoy it because they couldn't understand what the the characters were saying. Right. And I'm really good with accents and I'm really good with stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I got it. I got everything they said, but it was it was a challenge. Yes. Some of those lines were a challenge. You absolutely had to pay. This sucks. What? Now look at the look up there. What are they doing? Road construction now? Yes. <laughs> but anyhow. Um. So yeah, I I do think. I know they really wanted to get in there and make it super authentic, and I think they did a great job. I think they did. Um, so I was, I was sitting there watching it and listening and thinking, huh, should they have maybe pulled back a little bit with the dialects and the language just so that more of the general public could understand what they're saying? I don't think so. I like the, the fact that this piece is out there. Okay. As is. Um, well, see, and I was... Well, the ending... After I saw the ending, it was like, okay, well, that was, like, so nuts anyway. No one likes that anyway. So the language couldn't have even saved it. So, I mean, so it wasn't a real... Um, um, uh, how do I say it? I don't know. Maybe it's fine for what it was. Fine for what it was. Um... I mean, it wasn't like, okay, we want this to be a Hollywood blockbuster. We have to make it palatable to the general public and to all that, all kinds of people. So we're going to make the language watered down so everyone can understand it. Maybe they'd have worked harder on the ending. I don't know. Well, that's what I was going to say. So, Did it feel oh, like a Hollywood maybe. ending then? Did it feel like a... It felt like a lazy ending. felt like a lazy ending. Yeah. Okay. It felt like it was thrown together. Um... Because it's like, well, we know what we want to do. We know what we want to happen to our characters here. We know where they're all going to end up and what each one's going to be doing. Um, now we just have to write the scene. How do we want it to look? What do we want to see happen? You know what? Should I cut through Let's here cut and through go? Let's through the spark Yeah, all right. Okay. Do you think I'll hit this guy? I don't think so. He's not paying attention to y'all. Oh, good. He I was going to say that probably would have scared him if he was looking, but I'm an excellent driver. Okay, Rain Especially Man. in this little time. <laughs> Did you just call me Rain Man? Yes. Okay. 
okay. Okay. I'm not that good in math, though. <laughs> oh, that's true. But I'm a really good driver. <laughs> uh... I think it is such a specialized movie, like... Like I said, I liked it. Maybe I can't even get past the ending. Like, if I were to watch it again, and I'm I'm aware that ending is coming, then, yeah, all right. But it did feel like a lazy ending to me, because it's... It, God, I wish I could talk about it. <laughs> do we do spoilers? Do we just it's say... Kinda like, oh, it's kind of like, do we... Do we show our character... Characters? I don't want... Well, you know. Yeah. Do we show them walking off into the sunset and you know what's happening and you know what's going to become of them or do we really show you exactly where they end up and what they're doing so you think so so let me ask would it, an implied ending <laughs> be better um yes an implied ending where you kind of do your own you know what i i would have um gosh i don't want to give spoilers i'd have cut the scene in half Half the intensity, half the music, half the what was going on, half the um, cast, half the. Okay, yeah. Okay. I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think I'd have just toned everything back, or I'd have made it a quieter scene, like quiet and creepy, not <laughs> not what it was. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I don't know. People who've seen this already are probably like, well, maybe maybe they'll know what I'm talking about. Maybe, but I, I know how I would have ended it. I would have ended it very differently. I would have ended it with. Um, this is not where I'm going. How should I put it without giving anything away? It's hard, isn't it? It is. I, it's, it's tough to talk about without, like I said, saying and, and leading to spoilers. Uh, oh, the pink trees. I oh, they're having their cherry blossoms. Those are cherry blossoms. Beautiful. Look at all the pink. Yeah. Yeah, I would have, um, yeah, just I'll leave it at that. I would have ended it differently myself. That's good. Um, it's not, uh, what's your number on it? I'm I get going. Before. Don't be scared. I'm not. Okay. I just wanted to Legos? warn you. Why are there big Legos outside the Botanic Garden? I don't know. That Maybe they weird. have big Legos in there. Maybe. Remember when we caught that uh, train? Uh, No crew parking? What's going on? They, oh, oh they're filming gosh. up here. What are they filming? I, I have a clue. Park there if that lady would shut her door. She won't, though. People are rude. Speaking of rude, um, what's with noisy people in the theaters? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Am I too sensitive? Maybe. Because, like, if you're a... You would think that a single person sitting alone would be relatively quiet, relatively. but I was ready to offer them a tissue, <laughs> or like, when you hear, like the bag is crinkling, now I hear them chewing, now they're like, snorting, sucking I heard the snot back into their nose, if you have a runny, if you're sick and you have a runny nose, and you have to suck the snot back into your face every two or three minutes, go, leave, bl take a tissue, go take care of that. <laughs> Because it was such a quiet movie. It was, there was a lot of parts where there was no music or no anything. You could just hear the characters breathing. And yeah. then you hear the guy sucking snot into his nose. Lovely. And then chewing. <laughs> and then crinkling. Uh, I think that part's going to have to go after our end credits. Well, I mean, are people, I guess people are just unaware that, do they think they're the only person in the world? Maybe. They're used to sitting in their own home. Well, then so. they need to go home then and watch a movie. <laughs> Don't put us through their gross bodily functions for <laughs> two hours. Uh, all right. So uh, <sighs> they're evidently filming something here. Lots of star wagons available here. and Yeah, that's pretty weird, actually. Uh, well, maybe we'll update that later. But uh, I think that ends our review. What was your final number? Um... Well, I would love to give it a four uh -huh. because I really liked it. Um, the ending was probably a one, so yeah, okay. yeah. So I don't know. 
I have to say that I can probably give it a good three. Okay. Good enough. I don't know. What about you?